Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. You join me on a lunchtime run. A little bit different to normal. I'm not going to tell you everyone's steady for 30 minutes like normal. I'm going to do some hill efforts. One of the things that I'm regularly told about as a staple in a runner's diet is hill efforts. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and do once a week, run up and down a hill a few times hard. So that's what I'm going to do it now. So it is lunchtime, so I'm pretty crunch for time. I'm going to get out of sort of 15, 20 minutes, just doing a five minute warm up. It's raining, it's cold. I don't particularly want to be out. But let's give this a crack. Real good bang for buck session. I think I'm probably going to try and do, I don't know, five, six efforts up a hill. Five or six times up there. And that's it, jog back home. It might even be about a 12 to 15 minute session. But I'm really struggling for time at the minute, so it's better than nothing. Anyway, let's go. I know my heart just started, but I hit a peak, yeah. Wave, used to just want to blend in. Big flex, how I do the syntax now that I got the attention. On the rig, you make it really hard, I just want to be friends. Treat the night like a vignette for what's coming next, hard to see the end. Yeah, I tread water in the deep end. I'll die young and live plenty days on my defense. In real life, niggas pretend, let them sleep in. There we go then, five hill efforts. I will try and build on that in the next few weeks. <clears throat> that was hard. I would, I would ideally like to do more of a warm up before going those, in those hard efforts, but it felt okay. And obviously if I, if I felt any twinges, I would have stopped. All right. So I'm probably gonna be on for not very many minutes, but you've just got to fit in what you can, haven't you? So, whew. make sure I take this warm down seriously, take it really steady. Oh, so I was only running for 12 and a half minutes. I'm sweating a bit in my favorite place, the kitchen. So this sort of session, this used to be the sort of session that I would not want to put on Strava or not want to talk about. I think, oh, this is nothing. What's the point? Like it's just, you know, pathetic doing 12 minutes exercise. However, I know that that's better than me just sitting on my behind all lunchtime. So I'm glad that I've done it. One and a half miles, five short, sharp hill efforts, working towards those goals, aren't we? So yeah. Anyway, I'll see you this evening for a bike session. Good evening, right, got to keep this brief. Uh, I'm not on the bike yet, obviously. I am, however, half dressed for the bike. I thought it was important to show you, or interesting, or maybe not interesting, let me know, uh, to show you, like, I think sometimes I watch these videos back and it's like, oh, this guy's training and he's training again, he's training again. That isn't real life. So, it is 17.28, I finished work a few minutes ago. I've been cracking on making a chili that is soya mints, mushrooms, if you know what they were, uh, some sort of chili sauce, rice, uh, oh, no, garlic bread, obviously. Cooking it, putting it in bowls, because Liz is going to be home about quarter past six-ish, but I'm going out on the club ride tonight. Now, I can't just go out on the club ride, not make any food, and expect to come back to food on the table, especially if I'm hoping that Liz wants to do some sort of training or something. Like, you have to, we have to work as a team, right? So, I'm cobbling this together so she can come in, bing, two minutes in the microwave to warm it up and warm my garlic bread up, and she can have her tea, and then I can eat this when I get back from training. Just gotta work as a team, haven't you? Anyway, let's get on the bike. So now the clocks have changed, you're probably not gonna be able to see me at all on the road. <clears throat> what a nightmare. So I'll do the pre-ride brief here. So it's about 26 miles, 15 to 1600 feet of climbing. So I've probably done 30 miles and 2000 feet by the time I've ridden there and back. Just calibrate or zero offset in my pedals because I haven't done it for a few times and I've just taken off a TT bike to put them on the road bike. Uh, right in the canyon tonight, it is a, that's my, to put in the bin pile. Uh, it's okay weather-wise outside. I think it's a bit damp, but not too wet, so I don't need to dig the winter bike out yet with mud guards and stuff, trying to put that off as long as I can. Just need to put a rear light on, put a new tube in my saddlebag, because I used that last week, and then go in about three minutes. Cue the pain. Okay, so chili demolished. Yes, I'm wearing a dressing gown. Let's have a look at tonight's club ride. The hard man. I'm here a lot doing like 430 watts, just trying to hang on to the wheel in front of me. Uh, Normalised power for an hour and a half is 300 watts tonight, so fairly decent effort. 450 watts and I'm, I'm getting gapped. I need to get lighter. There is some real motivation here to, to drop some weight. 500 watts and I'm not closing that gap. That is ridiculous, isn't it? I also think that there's only so many times I've got and absolutely smash myself like this that I might have to reconsider how many club rides I'm doing in a week. Uh, again, here, 440 watts and the guys are just pulling away from me. I was dropped a couple of times and I had to be honest, a couple of handy traffic lights stops got me back on, but um, motivational. I'm still on the climbing bike as well, so I've not even got the excuse on a winter bike. Still at like 450 watts, just trying to get back on. Anyway, the thing is though, they're awesome riders, they're not just like average cyclists, they've never got cross off camp. So I have just played Liz the clip from earlier when I was in the kitchen bragging about how much of a good help I'm being cooking tea, etc. Uh, 
Liz, was that was it all planned? Did that really help you out this evening? No, it was a disaster, actually. Why? So I texted Daniel earlier and I said, swap to tomorrow night's tea and tonight's tea over. Because um, it's pizzas tomorrow night that we're making ourselves. So I thought it was best I made them and not Daniel. I then told him, uh, we've got a couple of different bags of mints in the freezer. So I told him which bag of mints to use. And also um, to use the mushrooms out a tin mushrooms rather than the fresh mushrooms out of the fridge because I wanted to save them for tomorrow night. So when I got home, he'd use the wrong bag of mints, the fresh mushrooms out of the fridge, and all the mints had stuck to the pan. So there was like um, a layer about that thick of all the mints that had stuck to the pan. So I had to scrub all that and clean all that. So half of it we didn't even eat anyway. And then there was rice literally everywhere the sauce jar everywhere as well. I'm a beginner, all right? I try my best. Can I have the job again? No, it's easy to do it myself. <laughs> Don't know about saving me time, I spent the whole evening in the kitchen. <laughs> anyway, we also wanted to say thank anyway, you. you can yeah. tell I'm in a great mood. <laughs> yeah, let's move on from that. <laughs> um, teamwork makes the dream work. We also wanted to say thank you very much for all the suggestions uh, yesterday, Liz, you've read them all now, haven't you? About yes. About training tips, how you make some sort of routine, how you stick to the training you set, and so on. Um, we're not sure entirely which ones we're going to take on yet. Probably some, if not all of them. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make some plans for you, aren't we? Uh, smart, measurable, achievable, whatever the smart really thing is. Stick. That's the one, yeah. <laughs> Basically, just make them achievable and make them realistic. I've already said that, but whatever. We're going to do that. Should we do that this weekend, perhaps? You've got a couple of early finishes now this week, haven't you? So hopefully get a bit more training in. Mm -hmm. But as, as Liz pointed out to me earlier, I think our mindsets are slightly different. Liz said earlier, I'm not an athlete. <laughs> and I think what you mean by that is, like you said to me earlier, I I like focus on work, obviously, training YouTube, whereas Liz has like house, animals, work. work and training exercise yeah comes below that. <laughs> exercise and training is further down there so i think oh liz has missed a session tonight what's she messing around at she's gonna be you know nowhere near a goal for next year whereas actually it might not be the end of the world for you you might feel a bit happier just exercising every now and again and getting done what you want to get done in terms of setting the house up and stuff like buying things like that Light yes but anyway part of the ride harder academy is that it isn't big, it isn't big volume it is about four to six hours a week at the minute isn't it so providing you can get those couple of sessions in early in the week it doesn't actually take up too much time so let's hit it for next week or this weekend come on treat yourself to a new saucepan <laughs> <Any one. laughs> thank you very much for watching I like sharing this little bit of life because it is realistic, isn't it? Uh, to, if I'm honest, it took this took some persuading to get on for this bit, didn't you? Um, and it, I would have just left it at, oh, I've made a lovely meal for my girlfriend and I and it's really helped us out. But that wasn't the real reflection of how the evening then panned out. So <laughs> thanks to Liz for uh, cheering up a little bit and coming on to do this clip. And we will endeavour to bring you the realistic life from here on in. See you tomorrow at 4pm. Subscribe if you haven't already.